Hello and welcome to the Photoshop Touch Tour video. My name is Michael and today we're going to create a simple composition in the theme of clouds. Before we begin, I'd like to show you a couple of gestures that will make your time in Photoshop Touch a little bit easier. Take two fingers in a spreading motion to zoom in on your canvas. Alternately, two fingers in a pinching or closing motion will zoom out of your canvas. One single tap with three fingers will take you to a full pixel view of your document and another single tap with three fingers will take you back to a fitted view of your canvas. Now let's begin creating. The first thing I want to do is add a new layer. So I'm going to tap the add layer button and I'm going to choose empty layer. As you can see a new empty layer was inserted into the layers panel on the right. You can tell that it's the active layer based on the white box around the layer in the layers panel. Next, I want to create a rectangular selection. So I will choose the marquee selection tool and I'm just going to drag out a fair size rectangle right onto the canvas. Now that it's an active selection, I want to add a white border or stroke around the edge of this selection. I'll choose the ampersand menu and choose Fill and Stroke. As you can see, Stroke is already selected, but if it's not, choose the drop-down menu and select Stroke. I think I'll leave the color at white, but I will change the width by tapping on this box and typing in 15 pixels. I tap OK, and here we have our bordered box. To deselect this area, simply tap once anywhere outside of the selection. Now the next thing I want to do is make sure that this box is perfectly centered on my document. So I'm going to choose the transform menu and here we have a few options. We can rotate, we can skew, we can resize, or we can simply reposition the selection. Since I just want to reposition it, I'll take one finger in the center of this and I'm just going to drag it around until it snaps right into the center of my canvas. We'll tap OK and here we go, a perfectly centered rectangle. Now I've inserted a layer of text previously into this document but it's invisible and so to make it visible I'm just going to tap once on this small circular icon in the upper left corner of that layer thumbnail. Now, I'd like to add one more graphic element into this composition. So again, let's choose New Layer, and let's choose Photo Layer this time. Now I'm going to access a photo that I have in my Creative Cloud, this helicopter icon right here. So I'm going to select it, and choose Add. And it's going to take just a second to download into our document. And once it's here, we have the same rotation, skewing, resizing, and repositioning ability that we did with the transform panel. But I'm pretty comfortable with where it sits right now, so I'm just going to select OK. Now, I like this color, but I'd like to change it in our composition. So with the helicopter layer selected, I'm going to choose the magic wand tool and I want to make a selection of just the helicopter and so what I'm going to do with the magic wand tool is just tap once anywhere inside that helicopter graphic and it's going to select all of the similar pixels in this case they're all the same color so it's pretty easy with this selection I want to use the paintbrush tool just to re repaint it a nice medium gray color so I'll select the brush tool and here we can select size and hardness and opacity options. I think I'm just going to adjust this to be a nice medium size and we're going to go ahead and keep it at 100% hardness. Now for the color, we just open the color picker and you have a variety of options for changing color. But what I'm going to do is just go ahead and select black and take the brightness up until I find a nice gray that I'm comfortable with right there. We'll close the color picker and now we have our brush settings and our colors all ready to go. The only thing left to do is paint onto our document. And since we have a selection area that's currently active, anywhere we paint 
it will only show up inside of this selection. So I'm just going to paint inside of this helicopter area. Great. So now we have a nice even coat of gray inside of this selection. To deselect it, let's just choose the selection menu and there's an option for deselect. Now let's do one more thing with this composition. With the helicopter layer active, let's go ahead and choose the layer properties and let's change this blend mode to multiply to make it darker and a little more transparent. I think it sits nicely in this composition and we're all finished, so I want to show you just one more thing. This is a really interesting feature of Photoshop Touch called the 3D Layer Stacking View. And I'm just going to double tap any layer in the Layers panel and you'll be taken to this 3D Stacking View of your composition. Now this is really useful for seeing how your layers sit on top and interact with the ones you know above and below them. To exit, simply tap once on the X in the lower right hand corner. So that about wraps it up for this Photoshop Touch Tour. I thank you for watching and as always check out Adobe TV for more great learning content.